Expecting moms are making tough decisions right now. I'm sure are. Some are choosing to change their birth plans, including where they have their child. CBS 13's Renee Santos explains. This is her 20 weeks, which was quite a long time ago, but <laughs> she's, she's a lot bigger now. Hillary Glenn Burtonier is getting ready to meet her baby girl for the first time. What are your delivery plans? Do you plan to deliver at a hospital or at home? Yeah, so I do plan to deliver at a hospital. The hospital where she will be having her baby isn't allowing visitors. Her husband can be with her, but he worries that could change. He's really concerned about making sure that he's in the room. Right now, some hospitals across the state aren't even allowing spouses inside delivery rooms. The changes in safety protocols inside hospitals are not only affecting moms to be, but also doulas. And that is done in a virtual setting now. Yes. So, you know, it, we sort of have gone through a progression, right? Amy Moy with Riverbend Birth Services is supporting moms virtually, but some are still canceling. A about 30% of them have chosen to um, decline virtual services. But she is anticipating new clients. Are you ready to prepare to handle those moms? I am ready. I am ready. And it's, you know, it's a matter of helping them to understand that virtual support is still support. For mothers staying the course of delivering inside a hospital, doctors say moms can expect to see a lot of social distancing protective gear and the check-in process may be a little different. There'll be um, screening that happens at the check-in or there may be screening questions before even heading to the hospital. Hillary is staying positive about her delivery in June. So, you know, as, as long as everything stays kind of how it has been so far in California, I think I think we'll be OK. Well, doctors recommend checking in with your provider to see if policies have changed. And they also say don't miss those prenatal visits, even if they're done virtually.